Hello students, welcome back sa online tutorial natin. Once again, maraming salamat sa mga nag-avail sa membership. Hopefully, no, nakatulong yung mga videos ko. And hopefully then, uh, you will pass the subject this semester. Sige, so proceed tayo, problem number 2. So, a suspension cable daw is supported at A and B and 120M. So, medyo mahirap tong problem na to no? kasi you need a figure. Otherwise, it will be difficult to solve the problem. Once you have the figure, I think it's very easy na to solve the problem. So, we have the cable daw, 120M horizontally. B is higher than A. So, we assume A is on the left. Usually, kasi pag nagsula tayo from left to right. Pa. So, we have A is on the left. B is higher. Uh, 15M on the right. Concentrated load 1 kN is applied at a distance 60 m horizontally. So, meaning midway kasi 120, 60. Okay, midway. The cable sags 10 m from the cord joining A and B at the center. Okay. So, check natin. Draw natin. Okay. So, uh, paano ba ito? Uh, first is the horizontal distance. Excuse me. So, first is the horizontal distance na ito. Yeah, So, that's 120. Yeah. Next will be the points A and B. So, A is lower. So, lagay natin dito ang A. While ang B is higher, lagay natin dito ang B. Again, this is not drawn to scale, no? And then, so, since matang suspended cable, uh, at a distance daw, uh, wait, distance pala. So, itong distance na to, this is actually, as per problem, that is 15 meters kasi 15 meters higher. So, meron tayong concentrated load sa gitna. So, by the way, I assume no, since this is a cable, so dapat straight line, no? So, the way it will sag will be like this. Yan, no? Ganyan. So, since nandito sa gitna yung, yan, no? Ba sir, bakit nalaman mo, bakit nasabi mo na nasa gitna? Sinabi kasi sa problem, no? 60 M horizontally from A yung load so meaning uh, 60 is actually halfway 120 so yan nasa gitna so but ito yung uh, tingnan nyo merong dito sinabi na the cable sags 10 M from the cord joining A and B at the center so let's try to draw a cord joining A and B so this is just an imaginary cord no this is not a cable so ito yung cord ay sorry Let's just say this is the cord joining A and B. So, this is A. This is B. So, from the center, 10M daw ang sag. So, meaning ito, ito. Ito yung 10 meters. So, ano yung silbi nito? Ano yung, ano yung purpose niyan? Actually, ang purpose niyan, I believe, is if that is midway, I hope you will also agree. If I will try to write this one here. Yeah. Uh, if that is midway, I hope you agree na ito, this is 7.5M. Bakit 7.5M yan? Kasi, di ba, meron tayong triangle. Consider the triangle AB and then let's call this C. Consider the triangle ABC. Ang distance AC is 15. Therefore, ang mid distance should be 7.5. Now, ang purpose yan, I believe, is to have this one. So, meron na tayong distance ito. Di ba? So, meaning, ang total distance will be 17.5. No? Ang total height ba ng uh, ito, ito? From here to the point kung saan apply ang load is 17.5, no? 10 plus 7.5. So, this is ito. 17.5. Yan. So, this is 17.5. So, this is 2.5 lang pala to. Okay? So, I hope okay tayo dyan na. So, I think tama naman, no? Yan. 2.5. By the way, ha, this is not drawn to scale again. Sige. So, kailangan natin yung mga distances na yan kasi we will be using these distances, itong mga triangle. For example, ito. Gagamitin natin to, itong triangle na ito. Sa pagkuha sa mga components, ito. At saka ito. Gagamitin natin yan, yan sa pagkuha ng mga components. So, again, this is, based on the figure, this is 62.5, 60.17.5. And then, ito naman yung forces. I-overlap ko na lang ha, ang free body diagram. So, ito yung load. Ano ba yung load natin? Want the cable sags. Hindi sinabi, no? Kung ano yung load na pinigay. Ay, concentrated load 100 pala. So, meron tayong concentrated load na 100. And then, what will resist or what will carry that concentrated load 100 is itong reaction. 
na to at saka ito. Okay? So, let's call this one uh, ang point na yan? Uh, A, B, C uh, T, B na lang. T, B at saka T, A. Okay? So, question number one. Uh, well, by the way, ilipat muna natin to Yung figure. Lipat natin sa solution natin. So, again, okay without the figure, you cannot answer the problem, ha? So, ito yung medyo tricky na part sa problem. Lagyan natin dito. Ayan. Sige. So, a suspension cable, I think okay na ito, no? Ayan. So, solve natin. Uh, sum up lang tayo ng forces vertical. Sum up tayo ng forces vertical and horizontal. Sige. So, consider point or consider at the point dito ah tawagin natin yung point o oh, consider sa midpoint sama kayo ng forces vertical and horizontal so bali dalawa lang yung ano no T A and T B hmm asa na yung ah ito pala yan sige so summation of forces vertical is equal to zero Clock, uh, upward equals downward looking at the figure we have two upward the vertical component of TA and TB and it is sent downward. Tama na 100 kN. Okay. So for upward, we have the component of TA. So ano yung component ng TA? TA times, again, we will not be using uh, we will not be using angles. Instead, we will be using triangles. Now, notice this triangle yung color blue. Color blue ba yan? Color blind. Color blind kasi ako. Blue, violet, hindi ko alam. So yung color blue na triangle na yan, ito yung gagamitin natin since TA is within this triangle no so ang horizontal ang vertical component pala will be ang numerator ang ta i multiply natin ang numerator is the vertical side of the triangle which is 2.5 while ang denominator will be the uh, hypotenuse of the triangle which is 2.5 square plus 60 square okay so i hope okay tayo dyan. that is the upward component of ta plus another upward force will be ang tb Upward component ng TB. So, this will be TB. And then, ang ratio naman natin, ang vertical side of the triangle sa TB is 17.5. While, ang hypotenuse is square root of 17.5. And then, plus 60 square. So, we have the two upward forces. Now, this must be equal to the downward force. In this case, the downward force, the downward force is 100. Next, sa uh, sampai ng forces... Horizontal is equal to zero. Uh, to the right equals to the left, or to the left equals to the right. And forces to the left, we have the horizontal component of TA, di ba? So, TA, copy lang natin, dayan. TA, but instead of 2.5, the horizontal side of the triangle is 61. So, palitan natin ito ng 60. Kasi ito yung horizontal component. Now, that must be equal to the force to the right. So, force to the right will be ang component ng TB. So, ito, ito yung component ng TB, but instead of 17.5, Gawin natin yung 60 kasi we're talking about horizontal component. That means horizontal side of the triangle. Yan. Okay. So, I hope okay tayo dyan. Okay. So, with this, I think pwede na, no? We can now use our calculator except for the equation 2. Ang equation 2, we need to uh, we need to write this one uh, in its general form, no? Dapat yung mga unknowns na sa left side of the equation, constant from the right side. So, ilipat ko lang yung TB. Ilagay ko sa kabila. So, this will actually become like this. So, magiging minus na yan. Bali, i-transpose lang natin ang TB sa kabila. So, itong dalawang equation na to, ito at saka ito, pwede natin ilagay sa calculator. Again, please check your calculator. Mode, 5 equation, and then press 1 para sa 2 unknowns. So, ilagay lang natin ang coefficients of the variables TA, TB, and ang letter C column will be the constant. So, ang TA for equation 1 is... 2.5 over square root of uh, 2.5 square plus 60 square. Okay, and then next uh, we have for TB that's 17.5 over square root of 17.5 square plus 60 square. Okay, so I think yeah, and then 100. And then next we have 60 over square root of 2.5 square plus 60 square. And then yung isa, we have minus, kasi may negative yan, negative 60 over 
to uh, square root of 17 point sorry 17.5 square plus 60 square okay and then zero so our answer will be 300 at saka 312 so ta ta is equal to 300 and then 300.26.26 and then ang tb equal to uh, tb will be equal to that is 312.5 Okay, so I hope okay tayo dyan. So meaning, meron tayong sagot. Ito yung maximum tension, which is ang TB, while the minimum tension will be ang 300.26. Now, next question will be, uh, ano daw ang horizontal reaction at each support? So the horizontal reaction at each support will be the horizontal component of the forces. So, in this case, actually equal lang. Kasi if you try to look at the figure, di ba meron niyang force dyan? If you try to consider point B, ang horizontal, di ba meron tayong TB dito? So, the horizontal reaction here should be equal to the horizontal component of TB. And then, sa kabila, actually, same then At point A, di ba, mayroong pag TA. So, the horizontal reaction sa TA, I mean, dyan sa kabila, which is equal lang yan sa horizontal component sa TA. Okay, anyway, same lang sila ng value kasi we've established na uh, summation of forces horizontal is equal to zero, equal lang ang dalawa. So, you can choose any of this para sa reaction. So, meaning reaction is equal to, yan. So, ang reaction pala natin is 300. Okay? By the way, how do we check if tama ba? Hmm. To check if tama ba yung sagot natin, we can actually sum up moments dito sa, ano ba to? Hmm. Try na natin mag-sum up ng moments dito sa point A. Check natin kung tama ba yung sagot natin. Summation of moments sa point A is equal to 0. Upward equals, I mean, clockwise equals counterclockwise. Now, itong sa B, meron niyang dalawang reactions. Ang dalawang reactions siya will be the vertical component of TB. Ito. Pali, ito yung sa point TB. Checking lang ha for checking. For checking purposes. Ah, ganito kasi yan. So, if we will try to sum up moments here, so, meron ganyan, meron ganyan, and then meron ganito. So, uh, ito, dito tayo mag-sum up ng moments sa point A. So, kailangan natin ito, itong RBV and RBH. Now, don't worry, itong mga values na yan, actually equal lang yan sa TB but vertical, and then ito naman, TB but horizontal. And then, we already have those values. So, check na natin dito. Okay? So, ang clockwise will be the 100. Ang 100 will actually cause a clockwise moment. So, that's 100 times. Ang moment arm is 60 based on the figure. And then, plus another clockwise moment will be caused by the horizontal reaction dito sa B. So, ang horizontal reaction ng B is ito, no? Ako, na-solve natin kanina. Yan. And then, multiplied by, uh, multiplied by, ang tawag doon, the moment arm. So, looking at the figure, moment arm is 15. Okay, so ito yung clockwise moment. Now, the counterclockwise moment will be itong vertical component of TB, you know, uh, counterclockwise. Again, now we're looking at point A, ang vertical component of TB, ito you know, vertical reaction dyan will be counterclockwise with respect to point A. So, ano ba yung vertical component? Uh, sana yun ito. Yan. And then, multiply natin sa moment arm. Now, looking at the figure, the vertical reaction here will have a moment arm equal to 120. Now, check na natin kung tama yung uh, kung tama lang yung sagot natin. Supposedly, dapat equal ang dalawa. So, yung right side of the equation, check natin kung ano yung value. The right side of the equation will be equal to 1,050. Hopefully, yung left side of the equation will also be equal to 1,050. Otherwise, may mali sa sagot natin. Yan, 1,050 din. So, okay lang. Tama lang yung sagot natin. Okay? So, I hope okay tayo ha? Sige. So, depending na sa inyo kung meron kayong time to check if tama ba yung sagot. However, I'm sure no, sa exam ninyo, it will be multiple choice man. So, uh, you have the choices. So, diretso na lang. If ever wala sa choices, then, uh, I mean, if ever wala sa choices yung sagot mo, it means mali. If meron, then there is a big chance na tama yung sagot mo. Sige. So, uh, once again, if you have any questions, clarifications, uh, please do not hesitate to comment down below. Maraming salamat sa panonood and see you sa next meeting natin. I mean, next video pala.
sige, sige.